Hey, bunch of peeps, how you doing? Well, here we got XRP over the day. Seems like it's climbing up a couple percent, 1.97% over the day. And that's, that's, that's all right. I mean, if you go to the week, we are still down. Let's hit the month. Now you can see there was the lift way back here and it went up over a dollar and we've been consistently pulling back seems like that iron wall there seems to be around 79 80 cents Canadian that's what I'm seeing anyways let's hit the year now you can see over the year it was just fantastic it's been steadily growing but not till the SEC lawsuit was over then it really took off but now we got some pulling back here resistance around 80 cents Canadian and all time you can see the steady growth this is XRP it's 0.87 cents Canadian the year guys it looks like steady growth so over the seven days it's climbing back from a little bit of a pullback and we're still looking bullish at 0.87 Canadian so I think XRP is going way higher than what it is like way over two dollars at least at the at the very least at the very least it's been in a lawsuit for so long it does what I call coming back from a long wait and now it's got to do something pretty exciting I think it's coming I think it's coming like now I think I think we're here I think I think it's now and I, and I could be wrong I'm not a financial advisor I don't offer financial advice and you are responsible for your own trading and investment activities so go ahead hit that subscribe button let's subscribe to my channel and uh you'll get more videos like these and uh i'm an xrp guy i'm you know ripple is a decentral or not ripple xrp is a decentralized um crypto here it's how it's now and and i and from what i understand ripple is uh partnered with a lot of centralized bankers and stuff so i can see where the confusion is there whatever it's been in a lawsuit at one it's decentralized xrp look at the growth low cost cross-border transactions and they're fast and inexpensive so compared to some of these higher gas fees i'm just saying like I, it's a no-brainer for me this one is something to look at anyways moving forward they did a flare airdrop right they did a flare airdrop over the day it shows some bullish moves Here's the seven days, you know, it was in the red. It's still a bit bullish from today. But look at the month. It's still way bullish. Now hit you with the year, guys. Now look at that. It's already had a shit kicking. The FLR airdrop took a shit kicking, in my opinion. It was, it was well over 10 cents. So... And it's still taking a shit kick. And ever since the airdrops come out, I would put that one on your sites. I think the FLR token is going to be going to go at least, I don't know. I'm going to take a wild guess. And again, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm going to say five cents, almost five cents before another pullback. We'll see what this next bull run does. But FLR, it's on my radar. I'm looking at that one. It's really low. It's 0 0.02 cents Canadian. And if it lifts off back to at least six cents, eight cents, you're still looking at a pretty profit. So the FLR 
flare. Something to think about, guys. So those are the two cryptos I wanted to talk today. So again, subscribe to my channel, like this, share this, and um, stay safe out there, guys.